and welcome to Uncovering Sexual Health. Today we're going to be talking all about bodies. I've got my two dolls here, Sam and Sam. Hey, that's weird. They have the same name. Have you ever been in class and there's two people with the same name or even more? Yeah, sometimes people end up having the same name even if they have different body types. So Sam and Sam are my dolls and they are what we call anatomically correct dolls, which means they have genitals. Genitals, hmm, is that a new word for you? If you haven't heard the word genitals used before, it's another word for private parts. These dolls have a lot of body parts that are the same. So they both have arms, they both have legs, they both have backs and bottoms or bums, they both have heads and eyes and ears and mouths. So they have a lot of body parts that are the same. But their genitals are different. And we're going to name the specific genitals that they have. It's really good practice to know the specific scientific names of our body parts. It helps us keep safe. We're going to start with Sam. So, like I said, Sam has arms and legs, a back. He has nipples and a belly button. And he has private parts or genitals. So, I'm going to take off his shorts to show you his genitals and name the genitals. Sam has a penis, and Sam has testicles. Sam also has a urethra. That's the hole that's at the tip of the penis where pee comes out. And if I turn Sam around, we did say he has a bum, but he also has an anus. That's where the poop would come out of. So that's Sam. And those are his genitals. And this is Sam. And we're going to name Sam's genitals. So Sam's genitals and private parts are covered by her bathing suit. So, Sam has nipples and a belly button. But Sam's genitals between her legs are different. Sam has a vulva. So the vulva is the entire area that's between the legs, which includes the labia, which are on the outsides. And in between the labia, Sam has an opening, which is the urethra, where pee comes out. And Sam has a vagina. And the vagina is where a baby would be born through, or when Sam gets older and has her period, she would have menstruation fluid would come out of her vagina. Sam also has a bum and an anus, just like the other Sam. So let's review the body parts that these Sams have. And I'm going to do it slow, so I want you to call out in your classroom or if you're with a parent uh, to name the body parts. Sam has an arm. Sam has a belly button. Sam has nipples. Sam has a penis. Sam has, under the penis are, testicles. Sam has a back. Sam has an anus. And Sam has lots of other body parts. All right, let's name the body parts on this Sam. So Sam has a head. Sam has nipples. Sam has a leg. <laughs> Sam has an arm. And Sam has a vulva. And part of the vulva is the labia and the urethra and 
the vagina. And if you turn some around, she has a bum and an anus. That's right. Thank you for joining me today to learn about the scientific names of body parts. Please leave a comment or a question down below.